in the midst of doing MCC and um, I got with this other organization that allowed us to travel all over the world and meet people like Nigel Barker, who took my, my photo. And I was like, so I'm like a top model and I even, I am famous that he took my photo in like 2012. And I was, that was really special. And I met Kathy and Jimmy, um, you know, from Hocus Pocus and oh, Sister. I know that. <laughs> and yeah, and she said, she saw me and she said, oh, you need to be in everything, TV, film, theater, everything. And I was like, thank you. But um, I really didn't put so much pressure on it because we had come across a lot of like famous people who said a lot of compliments, but nobody really acted on it. And she was like, do you want to do spoken word to my daughter's music for Joe's Pub? And then I got to do that for a Glamour Magazine event. And then she was like, we're going to be going to LA. Do you want to come to LA and do some pieces? And if you come to LA, if you make your way to LA, I will get you some meetings with with some people, casting directors and like um, a commercial agent. And so I met, I got with a commercial agent. They were just in LA and they said, well, we don't, we can't really do much for you because you're in New York, but we can send you to, and they sent me to my first agent. So I got my first agency around like the same time with Kathy and Jeremy and with Subverted and all of those uh, type of things. That is the coolest thing. One of the <laughs> things that thrills me to no end when I have these conversations is just hearing about actors supporting actors or really any role in the film industry. Because I feel like, I don't know, the, the pressure is kind of unbearable at points. And unless you have someone to help you out sometimes, it's easy yeah. to get buried under it. So the fact that there's people, especially someone I admire like her, supporting someone else super talented yeah. like that, it really warms my heart. <laughs> for sure I remember it was like actually I had a rehearsal with her daughter like the day after it, it was either the day of my college graduation or the day after but I was like I'm gonna do this rehearsal and I went down and we're just rehearsing the song and then her her husband and her daughter Samia they come out with a cake and so she's a jolly good fella and has a, like a candle on it to just celebrate my my graduation that was so sweet <laughs>